check this out the Red Rider BB gun yeah just like in the movie it even says it right here right <laughs> look they're going fast better get one right now yeah did you ever wonder how they invented the Red Rider BB gun well let's dig into it So the history of the Red Rider BB gun starts all the way back in 1882 in Plymouth, Michigan. The Plymouth Iron Windmill Company was trying to come up with a promotional item to bundle with their iron windmills. Each year they were trying new items, but in 1888 they decided to make some BB caliber air guns and include one with each windmill sold. Since most of these windmills were sold in rural country areas, the BB gun was well received so much so that they continued the same promotion for the next few years. Eventually, they started selling the BB guns separately. By 1895, the BB gun sales had grown to become the company's number one source of income, so they changed their name to the Daisy Manufacturing Company and started to solely produce BB guns. By 1900, the BB gun competition was growing and market share was being taken away from Daisy. So they implemented the most aggressive advertising marketing of their time. 15% of all sales was to be spent on advertising. This, along with introducing three other models of BB guns, helped Daisy gain market dominance, forcing one of their competitors to cease production, and their largest rival, Markham Air Rifle, requested to be bought out, which Daisy gladly did. By the 1930s, Daisy was dealing with the horrible economy of the Great Depression. Once again, they got aggressive with their marketing. They made a deal with one of the most popular kids' comic strips of the time, Buck Rogers and the 25th Century. Daisy created the Buck Rogers Rocket Pistol, along with the Disintegrator Pistol. This team-up boosted sales of Daisy products to a new company record. In 1942, World War II caused production to be stopped in order to help the war effort. Then, in 1945, when manufacturing restarted, Daisy again teamed up with a popular comic strip. This time it was called Red Rider. His catchphrase was, hello partner, my name is Red Rider. So Daisy created the Red Rider BB gun and again sales increased. Eventually they were selling over 1 million Red Rider BB guns per year and solidifying Daisy as the number one manufacturer of air guns for decades. Over the years, various other promotions continued, but none were as powerful as being featured in the 1983 movie, A Christmas Story. The movie was a box office smash, and to this day continues to be a staple of Christmas movie viewing. Which is why you will still see Red Rider BB guns hit the shelves during the holiday shopping season. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there, so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also. Go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.